The book, Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James, is capturing women everywhere. But is it really the explicit sex scenes that makes this book one that women just cannot put down? We have a reality check today with our life coach and author, Chandra Alexander. I gotta tell you, this can't just be about the sex, because if you haven't read the book, you know it's kind of a niche thing, and if you have read it, it's not mainstream sex. Well, here's the deal, if it was all about sex, women would be all over the pornography sites, and they're not. Mostly men are on the pornography sites. So this is really something different. Yes, the entree is through sex, but it's really about finding out who you are. And when you know yourself sexually, you begin to really know things about yourself. Also, this is a book that says, you know what, you're not the only one out here who's thinking about this stuff. You yes. know, there are lots of us who are thinking Millions, about this. Millions, apparently. There are lots of people who are thinking <laughs> about this stuff. Now, what's interesting is um, that you say because of the type of sex discussed in this book that it really leads you to believe that maybe women want to relinquish control. I don't think there's any doubt about it. I don't think it's politically correct nowadays to say that, but we're not talking about what's politically correct. We're talking about really what is. Because of women's lib, because of the way uh, the, the culture is at this moment, women are movers and shakers, they're CEOs, uh, they, they run big companies, they take care of their kids at the same time. Women are dying to just turn over control for five minutes to somebody else and say, you know what, why don't you be in charge? What better way than in the bedroom with the door closed? And if you truly need to let go, there's no better place than this. What do you think, though? Do you think, uh, we'll get to the next point, the masculine versus the feminine, the right. popularity, good sex, which just a real quick question. You know, Women can't seem to put it down. Do you think we're going to see a population boom in nine months or what? Is it good that women are getting into this? Because it's not exactly, you know, even the author herself says, look, I'm not that great of a writer. No, she's not that great of a writer. <laughs> and everybody who has ever reviewed the book has says this is not this great, the great of, great of writing. It's not about that. It's there's something in there that women are resonating to. It's not just about sex. It's about really getting getting in touch with something inside of you that previously has been hidden. When you read something like that, it's like things in you begin to wake up. They begin to come alive. And you begin to look at yourself a little bit differently and you begin to admit, you know what? Maybe, you know, right. I just, maybe I'm open to this or maybe, and when you're open to one thing that you haven't been open to before, guess what? You're open to a lot of other things as well. And just real quick, because we do have to wrap up with the masculine versus the, 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 this is really, really important because this is really what it's about. There's a polarity that, it, that exists between masculine and feminine. It's like a magnet. It's what creates the chemistry. As a woman, you have to ask yourself, is my essence? truly feminine if it is what you want to connect with is something that's very masculine what you know no matter what the characters are like he's a very masculine guy yes, he is. you know I'm not talking about anything abusive or anybody coming in and taking control but I'm talking about somebody that really steps in and take charge that masculine feminine polarity is it's, what creates good sex it's real all right <laughs> yeah. all right coachgirl.com we'll be back with weather Thank you.